Will the Bengals beat the Giants on Sunday night football and improve to two and four on the season as they try to climb their way out of a deep hole? Well, here are five things I'll be watching for on Sunday night, including a prediction right now on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. Hi again, everyone, and welcome in to CBT. I'm James Erpine of BengalsTalk.com. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, join the 47,000 plus that have subscribed already as we inch closer to 48,000. And if you're looking for more Bengals coverage, always check out BengalsTalk.com. Today's video brought to you by BetUS. And let's dive in here because to me, last week was a must win. So I was asked on, on Spectrum, I do a weekly hit on Spectrum, like, what is this week? Oh, it's a must, must, must win. And next week is a must, must, must win. And they put themselves in such a hole that they, they need a pretty big louder to get out of. And, and that's what the Bengals uh, are, are in right now, is a deep one and four hole that they can get out of. I do believe that. Joe Burrow believes that. Make sure you check out that video from earlier this week. Jamar Chase believes it. Make sure you check out that video. Cam Taylor Britt believes it. And that's where we start. Things to watch for on Sunday. Number one is, will someone, anyone, make a play on defense? Someone, anyone. That's really it. It sounded like that kind of, and maybe I've been watching too many Disney movies. That's Simba during Lion King after Mufasa falls. He's like, somebody, somebody anybody. anybody. Yeah, that's the Bengals defense right now. That's what they're looking for. Somebody, anybody make a play on defense because right now no one's making a play. You sign Geno Stone because he was a playmaker on the back end, not making plays. Von Bell, not making plays. These linebackers, not making plays. This defensive front, including Trey Hendrickson, not making plays. Make plays. I need to see someone uh, make a play. Will someone make a play on defense? That's number one. That's what I'll be watching for. Someone make a damn play. Two, efficient offense. This Bengals offense has been so efficient, so explosive, and, and has balanced the two. They've scored 33 or more points in three straight games. They've been one of the best offenses in the NFL, despite only scoring 10 points against the New England Patriots week one. The worst team in the NFL. So to me, and that's what the New England Patriots are. So to me, that's what you need consistently. That's what you need moving forward, especially with a questionable defense. You need this offense to be efficient, effective, and so we'll see if they can continue to do that, whether it's Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, I think Eric All, Drew Sample, Mike Gesicki, uh, and, and then the, the running backs as well. So we will see there. But I uh, really like it. Number three is this offensive line. Because Dexter Lawrence and Brian Burns, oof, oof. easier said than done. Kayvon Thibodeau had surgery, so he's going to be out this week, and that gives them a little bit of a break. But guess what? They still have Aziz Ojolari and so, some of these other uh, super athletic edge rushers. I, I think that this is a really tough test for this Bengals offensive front. That's been really good. Amarius Mims has to deal uh, with a, a guy in Brian Burns who's a, a really good edge. And Dexter Lawrence is going to give Ted Karras, Alex Kappa, and Cordell Volson all they can handle. And, and he should get the Chris Jones treatment. This defensive front for the, the Giants, they have 22 sacks on the year. Lawrence has six sacks already. Like, it's just tough. It's a tough situation, uh, especially if you're the Bengals. So it uh, would not be shocking. We saw some of those longer developing plays last week. I, I wouldn't be shocked to see Joe Burrow get the ball out of his hands quicker, maybe rely on the running game a little bit more. Again, that's where I come up with the efficient offense part of it. You want to be efficient, and that might be quick game. That might be run game early on as you try to tire out those pass rushers for the Giants. Uh, number four, I'm going to be looking to see how they respond to adversity. This Bengals team back against the wall the past couple of years, they've responded. In, in 2021, uh, they lost back-to-back -back games going into the bye, and they responded. In 2022, they lost. They started 0-2. Then they rebounded, and then they dropped uh, to 2-3. To and three. And then they, they look up, and they lose to Cleveland on Halloween night. And it's like, all right, well, how are you going to respond? They lose Chido Beauzier. How are you going to respond? And they responded and rattled off eight straight regular season wins and won 10 straight games. Last year, Joe Burrow goes down, and they responded the right way. And, and won three games, finished with a winning record for a third consecutive year. Will they respond the right way after one and four? After really going all out to try to beat the Ravens. And I think they all thought they were going to beat the Ravens, beat the Ravens, and jumpstart their season. Well, it didn't happen. So how do you respond after a really tough overtime loss? Number five, 
a little history. And this, courtesy of Jay Morrison, who recently joined BengalsTalk.com, really excited to have Jay uh, on the beat and join the site. But Jamar Chase has a chance to make history. No player has a 60-plus yard touchdown in three straight games in NFL history. No one's done it. Jamar Chase has a chance to do it. He's one of 30 players uh, to do it before uh, or going into this week where the, you have back-to-back 60-plus yard touchdowns. So can he make it three? We will see. He's been awesome. He has a 41-yard touchdown or or longer in each of the past three games. Just insane how this offense is playing. And, and by the way, Jamar has 10 touchdowns of 60-plus yards since entering the league, which is the fastest in NFL history. He's done, He did that in his fourth season and uh, fastest since uh, the 1970 merger, which is just awesome. We'll see if he can make NFL history. Obviously, if he does, it will go a long way towards a Bengals victory. Do I think the Bengals will handle business against the Giants? My prediction, next. Today's video is brought to you by BetUS. You gotta get in on the action with BetUS today. Right now, the Bengals are three and a half point favorites against the New York Giants on Sunday night football. And you can get a 150% bonus on your first deposit and then a 125% bonus on your next two deposits up to $2,000 with code YouTube150. That's it. Code YouTube150 and boom, you're going to get a 150% deposit instantly on that bonus uh, or on that deposit bonus. All you have to do is co use code YouTube150. And if you deposit 100 bucks, 500 bucks, all the way up to 2000 bucks, you'll get that 150% bonus right now with BetUS. And you can use it on prop bets on Joe Burrow's passing yards or on Jamar Chase's receiving yards or on insert whatever prop bet you want. You can get in on the action right now with BetUS. Again, use code YouTube150. It's prediction time here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. And the Bengals' backs are more than against the wall. They are buried in the corner against the wall trying to get out. And I, I led this video off with a Lion King reference with a somebody, somebody anybody. anybody. I think somebody, anybody, Simba voice does make a play. Someone on defense is going to make a play or two. This defense desperately needs it. They faced some good offenses this year. That's no defense for this defense. They've been awful. Awful is what they've been. And I think, while I'm not expecting them to be dominant, I think they will be a little better. I think they will make a couple of plays. I think that they will force a turnover or two. I think Daniel Jones, a.k.a. Danny Dimes, uh, give, maybe not gives them, but they force a couple of turnovers. They get off the field early. They build a little momentum. In this Bengals offense, I don't think they're going to be as high high of a level and at as high of a level as they were last week against the Ravens just because of that pass rush for the Giants I still think they're going to be effective efficient explosive when necessary give me the Bengals to win this game 30 to 20 they keep their 30 point scoring streak alive with a fourth straight game of 30 plus points and the defense well they hold their opponent to 20 which is the the second lowest of the season the only other time they they did that uh, was when they held the Patriots to 16 points, and that was Jacoby Brissett and company. So I'm expecting this defense to be better. I'm expecting this offense to continue to play at a high level despite some tough competition in the Bengals, improved to two and four. We are going to have you covered as we always do after the game. So please, please, please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, check out BetUS with code YouTube150. And until next time, for Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Rapine. Thank you so much for watching. Cincinnati Bengals talk.